Hi, welcome to That Wise Old Dude. Today I want to talk to you about a little bit about success and, and not what it means, but uh, well, I'll let the story, I'll let the story tell it for me. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. There was a guy once, I'm just going to use a guy, it's easy, right? There was a guy once in his 50s and he has a terrible car accident and he dies and he goes to heaven and when he gets to heaven there's three angels there and these angels they greet him and they say to him we're here to help show you around heaven and he says oh that's great and they said yeah you know the the transition from human to angel takes a little while so we're here to help you settle in and show you around so the guy says oh thanks very much so they're showing him around showing him where everything is and then after a short while after a short while the human stops the angels and he says to them uh, excuse me for asking he says but every time we get to this door here you seem to speed up and go past it he says, I'm just wondering why, why you keep doing that. And the angels say, oh, well, whatever you do, you know, please do not go in that door. You must promise us you won't go in that door. So the human says yes, and, and he promises them that he won't go in the door. So anyway, they keep showing him round. And about 15 minutes later, they say to him, look, we've got to go and show somebody else around now. So while you, you settle in, uh, have a look around on your own and we'll come back and see you later so the human says yes okay and then with him still being human right curiosity which is a very very powerful emotion it gets the better of him so he decides to go in through the door that the angels have told him not to go in through and so he walks up to the door, he walks in, closes the door behind him. And then suddenly this huge screen on the back wall just suddenly lights up. And he's, this video starts playing and it's a video of him. And he's in this marvellous house that he always wanted. And he sees himself playing in the garage on, on a guitar with a band. It's like he's rehearsing. And he was like, wow, that's great. He'd always wanted to be in a band. He'd had a, a guitar on earth and never picked it up and really played it properly. And he saw a nice car. It wasn't anything flash, but a nice car, a car that he wanted in his life. And he saw that parked in the, in the driveway and he saw, it, it, you know, this video was playing him on holiday with his kids and, and his ex-wife and he was running his own business and... Some days he was working from home, some days he was going to the office and oh, everything was joyous and he was dressed in nice clothes, better clothes that he'd had before, lovely shoes, everything was just going so, so well and he just couldn't believe this beautiful story of his life playing there on this big screen. And anyway, after a while, it's about 20 minutes goes, and uh, he says to him, oh my gosh, you know, I better get back because the angels are coming back. So he runs out of the door and closes the door. And he's just marvelling and with anticipation of what he's seen in the room. And then the angels come back and the man says to him, says to the angels, you know, he, he says, I'm, I'm sorry for asking this and I'm sorry for doing it, but you told me not to go in that room, he said, and I went in and it, it was absolutely marvellous. Everything that was playing in there was just absolutely fantastic. He says, now can I ask you, he says, are those all the things that I'm going to be experiencing and, and living while I'm here in heaven? And the angels look at each other. And the one in the middle looks to the floor and looks back up at the human. And she says, well, we really wish you hadn't gone in there. And she says to him, no, they, they aren't the things that you're going to have in heaven. She said, those are the things that you could have had while you were on earth. 
So I hope you get that, right? That the possibilities for you to live the type of life that you want to live and have the things that you want to have are possible while you're here now. You know what, what's, what's stopping you? You know, it's probably a fear or a lack of confidence or a lack of belief or a lack of self-worth. You know, it can't be anything else, but sorry about the sun there. But I'm here to say to you, you know, it doesn't matter what you want in, in this life, you know, within reason, within the human realms of possibility, right? You're just as worthy, you're just... Yeah, you're just as worthy as the next person to get what you want in your life as well. You know, and this life is short. I harp on about this a lot, but, you know, this life is short. You want to be pursuing what it is you love to do and dreaming big and making plans and visualizing what it is that you want. Each and every morning when you get up and before you go to bed, you've got to be visualizing what it is you want. Because life is short and you never know when your time is up, right? So, you know, go for it. Go for it. Build your confidence. Build your belief. Build your self-worth. And you can start getting all the things that you want to get in life as well. Anyway, thanks for watching. That's a brief message from that wise old dude. And I hope to see you again soon. Thank you and bye-bye.